What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live talking about this upcoming fantasy football bust. So there's three guys I think is a bust. Right now, I have this up as a logo just because I don't want to give you all away who my three guys are just yet. Before we begin, hit the like button for me, though. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's been a ton, as y'all know. Uh, my plan is there's 20 days left until the NFL season starts, so my plan is to get out a video a day, hoping I'll get ready for this fantasy football upcoming season. There's going to be underdog promos. There's going to be prize pick promos. There's going to be DraftKings content. There's going to be content off the wall. So again, 20 days of fun-filled NFL season podcast and videos. I'm excited about it. Before we begin, like I said, hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. That always helps me out. So first guy up is the man himself, Joe Mixon. Why do I think Joe Mixon's a bust? I do not see a path to victory for him in this upcoming season. I like to use that wording a lot, and especially in UFC. Meaning that I do not see how which will make some basically thrives in this offense. I don't see any way around it. I know they got rid of G Body Bernard. I get it, but the look at the offensive line the Bengals have now. I, they traded away a lot of players. I do not see how this is going to work for Joe Mixon in this offense, especially with Joe Burrow having his favorite target now with Chase. I mean, they're going to be locking and loading on that airborne attack. I do not see how Joe Mixon thrives in this offense. Like I said, especially in the passing game where we know Joe Mixon has his downfalls here and there. So, along with, like, it's the offensive line, the passing attack, the coaching, I, I don't see where Joe Mixon's going to thrive, especially at this average job position on, under, on underdog. So, going to the next guy is Melvin Gordon. So, yes, there's no Philip Lindsay. I get it. You would imagine that Melvin Gordon would be the clear back. But there's one guy and one guy himself, Javante Williams. And there's another guy called Mike the Hammer Boone. So... <laughs> I think Melvin Gordon's going to get kicked out of this rotation. I know Melvin Gordon's a high-class name. I know everybody thinks Melvin Gordon's the best of the best in the running back field. I see it. I understand that the name value is there. But Mike Boone, do not take him for granted in the Lincoln line backs. I think they're going to see him as a third-round roll back, which Javante Williams possibly starting. I know that I'd rather take Mike Boone at where his job position is. I talked about him in the underdog, um, underdog sleeper pick, so I definitely like his value. Where Mike Boone's getting drafted at, I love, I love him there. I do not see how Melvin Gordon gets fit into this offense, especially as a every down roll back, especially with the injuries that he piles up. So he's a guy that I'm looking to avoid. Ultimately, I'd rather get to Joe Mixon. I had to pick between him or Melvin Gordon, but either guy, I'm I'm totally off of. And then last but not least is Justin Herbert. I do not like him where his job position is. Also, I'd rather get to other guys around him. I'd rather take a lower class guy like possibly like Justin Fields as a sleeper that I talked about. I'd rather trust other guys around him. If I'm looking to get to a QB, I'd much rather get to a Dak Prescott, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, somebody who I know is guaranteed to run the ball and be in a high-power offense, which I do not think the Chargers' offense is going to be the top 10 offense this season. I know it's a hot take. You can quote me on that. But I don't I don't like it where I see around him. So, in my opinion, these are my three busts that I'm not going to get in any of the underdog drafts or basically in my season-long drafts or my best ball drafts. So, I hope this content finds you well, and I hope everybody has a good and safe rest of their day. Have one, everybody.